Hey guys, it's Elliot and today I'm doing an exciting video for you guys. It is a high school advice video. Actually, I think I'm titling this How to Survive High School. So it's a part of this new collab I'm doing with Jen. It's the Jen Life and Amanda, Makeup Madness 716. And uh, most of our videos are actually going to be about college and how to prepare for that. And how to organize and that sort of thing but this video is all about high school and um, I'm gonna leave the links down for Jen and Amanda's channel um, links to their channel and links to their videos I'm actually uploading this video late because I was on vacation with my family we were supposed to upload this on like Friday but then it was Saturday so Amanda uploaded Friday and Jen uploaded Saturday. So I saw both their videos. They're both super awesome and they have great advice. Um, I just wanted to say that I think it's so awesome that all three of us are from like a different high school background experience sort of. Jen was like homeschooled but she also had like a co-op thing that she went to with other high schoolers. And then her senior year she went, she took like college classes or something like that. Um, and then Amanda actually went to like a small high school and then I'm on a different spectrum. I went to a pretty big high school. In my graduating class there was like between six and eight hundred kids. So I know that's a lot more than Amanda who said she had like a hundred. So that's that. So number one uh is do your best and always aim higher and this is more, it relates more to your grades um but also aim higher in that don't just like do what you need to do to get by like actually try in your classes and you might learn a ton more things than you would have and i can guarantee you that you'll come out of high school knowing a lot more and being really glad that you did that number 2 is just be friendly and talk to people this is kind of obvious but um like you know in those quiet moments when maybe you're in gym class or something waiting around for the teacher or something and everyone's like kind of quiet but everyone's standing around each other like talk to other people like start a conversation like say oh how was your day how was your weekend what did you do this summer that type of thing um just get talking with other people and really get to know them and then that's how you'll start some friendships. Um, number three is don't create drama and kind of going along with that is don't gossip because gossiping is ugly and that leads to drama and it just doesn't say positive things about yourself but what I mean by gossiping is talking to other people that don't really know the whole situation and you know, they don't really need to know um, certain things about a certain person or a certain situation that, you know, is none of their business to know about. My fourth tip is be involved and especially like try out new sports and new clubs because you'll regret it by the end of your high school years if there's like something that you want to do but you may feel intimidated to do because you haven't done it for a while or something like do things like your freshman year like I would have loved to be in gymnastics but I didn't really realize that I guess until my senior year and I'm like well I don't want to be a senior and not know how to do anything so just like be involved and at least in one thing like there are tons of different clubs and sports if you're not a sport person then do a club like student council where they get to plan um like they get to decorate for homecoming and um just fun things like that or I know my school had like an anime club so if you're into that yeah and also if there's no clubs or well mainly it's just for clubs not sports too but if there's a club that you don't have at your school but you want um so, I don't know who you're supposed to talk to, but um, find out who you can talk to about that. Maybe like the principal. Number five is do not, do not look down to freshmen. Okay, it gets me so angry when people 
talk about freshmen and it's kind of like, oh, freshmen, like all that stuff. I'm like, seriously, you guys were once, once a freshman, you know? You were once naive, you were once like, you didn't really know the ropes of the school. And I just think it's so rude how people look down on freshmen because freshmen are typically people who like come in and they're scared to go, you know, they're scared to start a new school and have tons of people they don't know and stuff like that so I add on this whole label of being a freshman and then with like a negative vibe you should be wanting to help freshmen out and you know show them the rope show them how to do things show them where things are without giving them like a negative you know title but yeah, so don't look down on freshmen. Don't, like, walk by a freshman and say, oh, freshman, or people drop papers in the hallway or something. Like, don't yell freshman, because that's just rude and basically just mean. And it's kind of like a form of bullying, even though you might not think so yourself. Like, you never know what other people think of certain things. So just, you know, be aware of that. Um, number six is don't give in to peer pressure. There is so much peer pressure in high school, and it's not just, like, the more bad things. It could be, like, little blur things, too. Um, definitely, like, don't party in high school. Like, just don't be one of those people. And don't smoke, because smoking is not attractive, and you smell bad. And I could go into a big long rant about smoking because it is my number one pet peeve. So yeah, don't do that. And also like don't cheat in high school, like just well in your whole life basically. Um but I know there's tons of temptations to like look at someone's homework and copy down all their answers. Like if you forgot to do your homework one night, um like there's so much temptation temptation and peer pressure to do that but you know you don't have to do that or if other pe people ask you for your homework to copy like no you worked hard on that homework like it should they should be taking responsibility for um their actions of you know not doing their homework or if i mean if they forgot to do their homework that's you know that's sad and that can be like iffy but just no, you worked hard on your homework. You don't have to, you know, feel bad. And my last bit of advice is don't compare yourself to others. Now, this was super hard for me, especially when it got to be, like, senior year. I was super stressed about what college I was going to and my grades and all that. So it was super easy for me to compare myself to others, especially since I was taking AP classes, and yes, I did take AP classes my senior year, um, but anyways, um, so, you know, especially in AP classes, you can really compare yourself to others and the grades that they get, as opposed to yours, um, but also you can start comparing yourself with, when it comes to, like, sports, or, like, look, like, seriously, everything, you can compare yourself to others, just don't do it, everybody's different. Everyone has different strengths. Everybody has a different weaknesses. So while some people might be really good at academics, you know, um, they might not be good at, like, socializing. I mean, I don't know. So just remember that, that everybody's different. Everybody has different strengths, weaknesses, and that you shouldn't compare yourself to others because everyone is different. And that is totally fine and you are just perfect the way that you are. This concludes my high school advice video. I hope that you guys got something out of it. And if you want any more advice regarding high school, leave the video requests down below. And I'll be sure to do those for you. So definitely um, don't forget to check out Jen and Amanda's videos and their channels as well. And go subscribe to them. Yeah, because they're super awesome and fun. Um, and be on the lookout for all of our other videos that are we're putting up in this collab series. So, yes. Without further ado, that concludes this video. Bye.